So guys, uh, Live Portrait has come up with an update. They've done some cool stuff here. Uh, we're now able to not only just use a static image, but uh, use a um, <laughs> use an image that moves here, and then actually apply our face stuff to it, and it'll actually change the live moving video. So that's actually pretty cool. That's a big step forward. Um, I'm going to tell you straight off the bat that the it's still wonky. So obviously they rushed this. They wanted to get this out there. It works, but it's uh, it's got some issues with timing, but still very cool. And the good thing is you can still actually use this with a source image. So up here you see we've got it says source video. We still click source image, and we can just go ahead and you know grab something like that and go ahead and run it, and it still works perfectly. Now they've also added some. Um, things so you can crop it. This isn't extremely helpful because it's using numbers. So you're gonna, um, it's not as intuitive, of course, as dragging lines and doing this, but you can figure that out, it's great. So they've got a crop for both of those. Um, you see here again, I took one of the videos that we made with our open Sora. I made this on my computer, um, which I think is pretty impressive. And with this now, we could actually throw this in here uh, again with one of these things. And now you can see that it actually does it with the video we created on the source. So this is really cool because what this does is it means that we're able to start pulling in our different um, applications together. We're creating one thing over here. We're putting it over here to do this. We're putting it in another thing. These things are starting to add up on each other, which is uh, way cool. Okay, We're getting into more solid, full-bodied um, application of this different stuff but to get this to work we have to update it so i'm going to show you really quick how to update it uh this if you um let's just really quickly if you went ahead and installed it through uh the cognibuild one click installer which is found over here on our um our patreon site here okay See, where is that? We got a bunch of good software over here. So here's our live portrait one click and solve. If you install it from over here, all you got to do is go back here um, uh, and you'll get this version two. Okay, so go back, delete your other installation, and then just reinstall it with this version two. And what that's going to go ahead and do is it actually fixes some of the update mechanisms. We'll never have to uninstall and reinstall again once you do this. And then later on, all I have to do is click. Uh, the button that says update and we'll be able to get all of our updates so if you did install it from the cognibuild uh one click installer over here which is a great choice get you going in minutes delete your other installation get version two and just reinstall it you're going within minutes okay now if you went ahead and installed just through the tutorial following us what we do here's what we're going to do let's go over to live portrait we're going to google live portrait git all right that's, of course, going to bring up this one here. What says Quai VGI? We're going to click that. Now we're going to scroll down. It all looks the same, but we're going to see that we've got some updates. So we're going to click it where it says here. And now we're just going to read this. So uh, once again, I like to express blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, so this is the important part. So they implemented a version of portrait video editing, also known as video to video. Ensure you have Pycoman package installed. Okay, so um, when we pip install stuff, right? Like we, uh, you know, pip install our setup tools or we pip install Torch, it's going to be the same sort of thing. Um, all we really need to do is keep track of this. Okay, now what we're going to do is hop over to our installation folder. So let's assume this is where you install it. Well, let me see if I can get my. Uh, picture back up here hold on just one second there we go boy it's really dark picture but okay it's fine um so we're just going to go here okay and all you got to do is right click uh, it's going to bring up a window and you just click open in terminal okay then that, what that's going to do is that's going to uh, pop us over to this so we were here, here i'll show you what we did we right clicked clicked open terminal and then it popped up this bad boy and that's going to actually put us in the directory that we installed. If we type dir, uh, we can see it's there. Now, I should have actually gone one more deeper because the actual code is in 
live portrait. So it's in live portrait, live portrait. Now, this is all you got to do to update it. You're going to type git, G-I-T, P-U-L-L, O-R-I-G-I-N, origin, and then main. So what we're doing is we're saying we want to pull down the files again. We want to get pull the files. And where's, where are we going to get it from? From the main repository. So what they have is main repositories, and they have what are called forked repositories. So if I had um, taken the original and um, I forked it, I could change it, and then you would be getting it from that one. But we actually want to pull down the files from the original. Okay. Um, so this is only if you have it installed using the one-click installer. This is the way you do it. So what we're going to do, you just type git pull origin main, and you're going to click that, and it's going to download it. Okay, I'm not going to do it because I'm on a, I'm actually on a slow internet right now, which is fine. But it's going to download everything, Brrr, like this. Then when you're done, okay, um, you, what you want to do is you're going to go back into your environment that you already created. So you're going to go Conda, and we're going to go Activate, and we're going to go Activate Live Portrait. Okay. So remember, when we first installed this, we created a virtual environment called Live Portrait. So we want to go into there, okay? Because whatever we install, if we if we're not in our virtual environment when we install stuff, it's going to install it into our base environment. So we want it in the virtual environment. And then we're going to type pip install, and then we're going to paste that in there. P P I K A L M A N. Then you're just going to hit enter, press yes, and it's going to add that. That's the only thing you have to add. Okay, after it's done, just run it as normal. And do, 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 let's go back to here. And then you'll be up here and ready to go. Now, one of the things I did, I took again one of these, uh, one of these um, videos that we made with OpenSora here. Let's see if I can get the play button to work. And then I used the webcam. So again, with this source video stuff, you can actually use your webcam. I am going to eat you. So really cool stuff here that that they've added. Again, I like I said, going to eat you. like I said, the uh, the um, update on it, they rushed it a little bit, and so the timing's not perfect with this, but it's still good, and um, you can just keep updating this. So in the future, get pull origin main. Okay, and you go to the website to see like if there's any other dependencies you got to install. If you have the one click that you got over from uh, the Patreon site, you've got one of our Cogni script uh, things over there. Just delete everything and then just download version two, click it, and you're ready to go. Same thing. So go ahead and enjoy that. Um, and uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, go ahead and enjoy it. And hey, hit us up on the Discord. Show us the stuff that you're building. I'd love to see it. And we'll catch you later, haters. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye-bye.